Earth, 2100. The world is governed by superhumans with over 1,000 IQs. From its high towers they manage the swarm of humans. Masses of inferior human beings controlled from birth to death. At least those who are allowed to live. Subhuman be molded and shaped. They are designed for life purposes and the vagaries of, almost like gods, elite who is the mastermind of the busy society, almost like hive. In case some have the brilliant idea of overthrow or live self-proclaimed teachers and 10,000 year reek, you better forget them. The rulers will be immortal. A classic science fiction story. No, it's a vision of the future that some so-called Trashama movement trying to achieve. Of course those who work to create this terrifying world fully expect to be among the ranks of the ruling lords. As some Trashamas plan to dominate the world they expect to achieve its target for 2050. The masses do not deserve immortality with 80 years, Marvin Minsky, called the father of artificial intelligence creator of artificial neural networks and co-founder laboratory RE, artificial intelligence, at MIT, believes that in general the masses have no idea about how to handle immortality, nor they deserve it. From his perspective Ivory Tower, he believes that scientists need the extra time that immortality can provide, while the rest of humanity must meet normal life expectancy. Sounding almost like God throws to Minsky aside any ethical considerations and holds that scientists are above all things. No restrictions on research and its applications, no regulation of any kind should be tolerated by the scientific community. Scientists should not have an ethical responsibility to their inventions, they should be able to do whatever they want. It should not be asked to have the same values as other people, he declares flatly Minsky. This is the worldview and warning that underlies the classic novel Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. Many of the scariest elements of the novel have been adapted by the most obsessed with reaching an immortal elite researchers. The blueprint of the world is designed from the top down the ultimate command and control of global society. They imagine society and promote also it has strong parallels to the equally famous novel by Frank Herbert Hellstrom's Hive a nightmarish vision of human drones imitating society as created by Bee's Hive. While a significant number of members of the Trashama movement favors a version of a society hive using this population a Trashamist, IA theorist Eliza Yudkowsky rejects the ideas of Minsky. Instead, Yudkowsky is convinced that the technology of immortality must be developed quickly before a group or government with bad intentions do it first. He sees the artificial intelligence as the key to unlock the door of immortality. But it must be done correctly because if not, they could follow them terrible consequences. If a desire to improve Ari is thrown carelessly together, we could be in serious trouble, he warns. Several roads lead to eternal life Ian Pearson, a British futurist and trashamist, believes that death will be a thing of the past by 2050. Pearson is one of the many futuristic cyber experts and research of artificial intelligence whose thoughts are converging on the same basic idea, why not upload everything that is in the brain everything that makes a person who is in a supercomputer and then download it again in a new body. Doing such a thing would be the individual theoretically immortal. To work it, the more progress is needed in hardware and software, and improved interfaces will have to be developed between the brain and the brain of silicon. Since it is basically an engineering challenge, it is feasible. Other scientists argue that the key to eternal life is in human DNA and indicators. While others are concentrating their research efforts on techniques to regenerate human cells forever without critical loss of biological information. Then there are the subset who call themselves trashamists who see Segularist as silicon and steel as how to never die. Creating an immortal race as the inspiration of Star Trek, the Borg superhumans. 
as some Trashamas plan to dominate the world Trashamas be immortal, as overlords like the Borg One of the current movement spokesman uniqueness is Raymond Kurzweil, futurist author of many books including his book The Singularity is Near, When Humans Transcend Biology 2005 Time magazine noted that on its cover. Kurzweil's great vision encompasses a complete irreversible transformation of human beings. When the transition occurs, he says, the end of the human race will be announced as we know it. Lev Grossma, who wrote the article for Time writes about the transition period, when that, the achievement of artificial intelligence superpowered, happens, humanity our bodies, our minds, our civilization, completely and irreversibly transforms, Raymond Kurzweil believes that the time is not only inevitable but imminent, according to his calculations, the end of human civilization as we know it is about 35 years away. It is a time scale that many other advocates of Trashamism and believers of singularity touting. Although not all agree on the methods to reach this monumental turning point. Some see this happen without the need for intelligent machines acting as a catalyst. But maintaining the vision of Kurzweil, Grossmar continues. Maybe combine us with them to be super intelligent cyborgs, using computers to expand our intellectual capacity in the same way that cars and planes extend our physical abilities. Perhaps artificial intelligences will help us to treat the effects of aging and prolong life indefinitely. Maybe we'll scan our consciousnesses into computers and live practically inside them as software, forever. Maybe computers turn against humanity and annihilate us. The only that all these theories have in common is the transformation of our species into something that is no longer recognizable as such for humanity. This transformation has a name, singularity and there is the vision of the singularity the transformation of humanity into something beyond man. A dimensionless ghost in a virtual machine. Or maybe something. On the surface, this seems to lead to a flourishing growth of a superhuman race, nirvana on earth and eventually in heaven where immortal work wonders only once dreamed by the ancient Greeks and Romans who gave such powers to their gods. Control methods as eugenics will be included buried in the notes of the RAND Corporation, the Global Technology Revolution, trends in bio forward slash aero forward slash materials and its synergies with information technology in 2015. Well-known experts describe the global potential of wonders created by trashamas including the ominous inclusion of a necessary application cloning and eugenics to manage society. The results can be surprising. The effects can include significant improvements in the quality of human life and life extension, continuing globalizatio, cloning and reorgazatio of wealth, cultural fusion or invasion with the potential for increased tension and conflicts, changes in the power of nation states to non governmental and individual, and the possibility of human eugenics organizations. Eugenics. Forced population control. Well, why not? After all, many trashamists are against overpopulation, the introduction of eugenics and the final control of the teeming masses. Trashamists mostly really have a vision of a supreme, immortal elite a dream eerily similar to the nightmarish visions embraced by the Third Reich. And as the Third Reich, the concept of eugenics will embrace. The idea of eugenics emerged during the 19th century. It was promoted by a cabal of elite believed that the common man was an impediment to man's highest purpose. One of the representatives said, Frederick T. Gates, summarizes the ultimate purpose of eugenics in El Pace School of Tomorrow Chilling Vision sharing this with your readers, in our dream. We have limitless resources and the people is delivered with perfect docility to our hand molded current educational conventions fade from our minds, and unhampered by tradition, we work our own goodwill upon a grateful and responsive rural people. 
We will not try to make these people all men of learning or science. We should not raise authors, speakers, poets and men of letters. We should not look great artists, painters, musicians from embryos. Nor cherish even more humble ambition to raise among them lawyers, doctors, preachers, politicians, statesmen, of whom we now have a wide range. A way end. What they want is to subvert eugenicists, manage and control humanity. They will rule on the supremacy of a people to be formed from birth to be dragged, humble little worker bees grateful to be at the beck and command of the powerful lords and masters of governing mind forever. Teachers will exist beyond the human and the rest of the world hardly noticed and will be treated as intelligent animals. The human race will one day be divided into two separate species, an elite attractive, intelligent ruler and a subclass of ugly creatures almost like Gollum. Do seculariestas will succeed? Will they create trash ummers to achieve the long-awaited millennial dream of ruling the world? They strive to make it happen. If that day comes, when they do, even the Borg should be afraid. Very afraid.